What's good? What's good? It's the one and only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with some more news. I got Tyson Greedy Belly Fury in the news today. Um, he's claiming that he is off for the fight with Anthony Joshua. I really feel like Tyson Fury is more so... His team is kind of desperate now because they're really running out of options, bro. I really do feel like they're running out of options. But uh, let's look into this. And then uh, I, it's a few things that I, I want to discuss about, you know, po the possible matchup between Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Um, but let's talk about it, all right? So Tyson 3D Belly Fury says contract was sent to Anthony Joshua for a September fight in Wembley. So in the words of Jamal Charlo, she can cry. She's crazy. All right, it says, WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury indicate, indicates that a contract a contract has been sent to former two-time world champion Anthony Joshua for a potential domestic blockbuster at Wendy, Wembley Stadium in September. A few days ago, I sent a draft contract to Anthony Joshua for a fight in September at Win, in Wembley Stadium, Fury stated on Instagram. It is a fight that everybody wants to see, including myself. Come on, AJ, let's give the world what they want to see. This time, I'm not going to make a million vids and keep putting pressure on it. The ball is in on your side now. Fury has been openly pressing to return to the ring. After his last contest took place back in December when he dominated and stopped Derek Chisora in their trilogy fight, that was completely unnecessary. But, it's you know, in the UK, they support theirs, so, you know. Joshua suffered a back injury. I'm sorry. I said back injury. Joshua suffered back-to-back -back defeats at the hands of unified champion Alexander Usyk, picking up a 12-round unanimous decision win over Jermaine Franklin back in April. Joshua is now trained by Derek James, who is best known for his work with Errol Spence, Frank Martin, and Jamal, Jamel Charlo. According to various outlets, the two respective camps are now negotiating with the terms for a potential showdown. They were very close to a deal back in 2021, but the negotiations fell apart when Wilder was successfully obtained a legal order which directed Fury to move forward with their contractual trilogy fight. There were also discussions that took place back in 2022. The sides were unable to reach or unable to agree on various terms, like the exact date and venue to the stage of the fight. So they couldn't agree on anything. Fury's options are running little and dry for his next outing. After failing to reach a deal with Usyk for an April unification, Fury's team approached both Andy Ruiz and Z Z Zully Zhang, the, the um, one guy I can't... I, I've seen him fight um, before a summer fight. According to Fury, his handlers Ruiz significantly overpriced himself and Zhang was ruled out after being tied to a contract that, Rematch with Joe Joyce. So, all right. So, I mean, really, what what next is Tyson Fury to do? Let's talk about it. All right. All right. So, first off, to my to my so like to my family in the UK, my subscribers in the UK, I just personally want to know: Is anybody even really still interested in this fight? Because this fight, which would have been a big deal even in the in in the US, it's not a big deal anymore. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Like you know, with Anthony Joshua losing twice, you know, it just I, I'm not really interested in the fight, uh, but I do want to know your, your guys' take on it. Is, is anybody really even still calling for this fight? Um, but listen, regardless, man, uh, they got to get it together, bro. This fight would have actually been huge um, a few years. Even, even, after, even after Anthony Joshua was lost against Andy Ruiz, this fight would have still been huge, all right? But I'm not really interested in seeing Tyson Fury just fight these other guys. Like, even when they were talking about a, a possible matchup with Tyson Fury versus Andy Ruiz, I wasn't interested in that matchup because, bro, I just don't think Andy Ruiz has the style to give Tyson Fury a lot of troubles, all right? Now, Tyson Fury, um, he's been, you know, he, he, he had an issue. He had issues making a fight with Alexander Usyk, which never, which never came with, um, with, uh, with, um, with Andy Ruiz, um, you know, with, with Anthony Joshua, you know, so what's the common denominator over here? It's, it's Tyson Fury, right? So possibly, is it is it possible that maybe Tyson Fury or somebody on his handlers, uh, on, on his team, is handling the fight in the wrong way? I mean, because I just feel like if all these guys, like, it's not like that 
Tyson, it's not like they're just ducking Tyson Fury, like they, they're turning Tyson Fury down, like, you know, that, that type. It, I just think that possibly it's somebody on Tyson Fury's side that's causing these issues because, I mean, bro, I really think that Alexander Usyk really wants to fight with Tyson Fury. And honestly speaking, I don't even think that's a, a fight made for the casual fans. I think that's a fight made for the hardcore boxing fans. But unfortunately... Uh, boxing with boxing being a business boxing is going to cater more to the casual fans now a stylistic matchup like Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury will always be entertaining because you have you know two guys one of them a, a hell of a knockout puncher one of them that proves that anytime he touches your chin you go down and Tyson Fury would seem to have his number and they produced a great fight back in 2021 however I don't think anybody really wants to see a Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder for. As a matter of fact, I think I would actually be way more interested in seeing Deontay Wilder fight Alexander Usyk. I think that makes for an interesting matchup. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels that way, but I definitely feel like Wilder versus Usyk make for an interesting matchup, all right? But regardless, listen, Tyson Fury and, and, and Anthony Joshua may be a big deal in the UK. And again, I'm not even 100% sure on that. However, um what i i feel like literally i i mean i feel like 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 anthony joshua was kind of on his last wing last leg or whatnot because you know if he can't beat tyson fury which i don't think he would be able to beat tyson fury it's like where else is there for him to go until one of these guys relinquish relinquish their titles or whatnot, you know, I don't, I just don't see Anthony Joshua beating Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is way too elusive. I, I think Anthony Joshua is very robotic, which is why I always thought Deontay Wilder would be Anthony Joshua because Anthony Joshua is very robotic. He's there to be hit. That right hand is made for Anthony Joshua's face. All right. Um, in, in Tyson Fury's situation with Anthony Joshua being very robotic, Tyson Fury is very elusive, very slick, very good, and very awkward, to, especially to be that size. I just think that Tyson Fury gives Anthony Joshua a boatload of trouble. But at the end of the day, those are just speculations. You never know. Anthony Joshua is known for his power, so Anthony Joshua could possibly land something that could maybe get Tyson Fury out of there. Anthony Joshua is fundamentals are better than, than than Deontay Wilder's I mean I think that's we all know that um so the difference between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder is while De Deontay Wilder relies on that one deadly weapon and the weapon that Deontay Wilder relies on is very deadly might I say because I always say people say Deontay Wilder is the hardest hitter I, I disagree I think that Deontay Wilder just has the hardest right hand um, because Deontay, if you look at Deontay Wilder's other punches, they're not really as powerful as that right hand. But maybe maybe Anthony Joshua has more tools, but I just don't see it, bro. I just don't see it against Tyson Fury. I've always had that. I always had Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, and then Anthony Joshua. And then now, of course, you know, since Wilder, uh, since Wilder lost to Fury, I always just had it like Fury, Wilder, and Joshua. But regardless, man, I mean, it still makes for an entertaining matchup, bro. Uh, I'm pre it's, it's lost a lot of its luster. But they, if Anthony Joshua is still a big deal, then go for it, bro. But something's going to have to give, man. I mean, because, bro, Tyson Fury is on a track record of, of, of having failed negotiations. And it's, it's kind of hard to... It's kind of hard to just sit here and think that it's everybody else, man. Like, again, I know Alexander Usyk wants to fight, so it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to say that it's everybody else's fault when it, when Tyson Fury and his team is the common denominator. And I know that Deontay, I mean not Deontay, but uh, Anthony Joshua can pack out an arena. The dude sells the 80, 90 thousand tickets. Like, I, if the UK is still interested in it, then these guys are would be walking away from a boatload of money if they don't make this fight happen. All right. So I mean, I hope I, I I mean, listen, if the UK is interested in it in it, then I hope the fight gets made because bro, that's a lot of money that these two will be walking away from. And you know, come on, bro, like why? You know, we already missed out on Wilder versus Anthony Joshua. It looks like Anthony Joshua is just not really in a interested or in a rush he said that he was uh they was trying to make a wilder fight i wonder what's go going on with that because he, he said it for december but it's no way that you can plan a wilder fight in december with tyson fury right in front of you for september that's just you can't do that you know what i'm saying that's not gonna it's not a guarantee 
that you know you i don't even think you go, you would get past tyson fury so anyways let me know what you guys think man who would you pick if, if they were to fight are you even interested in that fight like comment subscribe but what do i know